Hello and wel welcome back to uh, a shortwave uh, radio uh, clip uh, two here. I'd uh, I'd previously made a uh, a radio clip here, and I uh, had uh, a battery had went down on the uh, on the camera, and rather than start all over again, I just decided to make a part two here of the uh, shortwave uh, uh, radio. Uh, equipment here that we have, and the hobby itself, which is a uh, which is a great hobby uh, for uh, uh, just about anyone. I w I was uh, demonstrating the uh, the, uh, the Colby here when the batteries went out on the uh, on the camera, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's a fairly cheap uh, cheap receiver. Uh, We'll start. Uh, I'm down, uh, at 11, uh, 25 there. I'm not going to bother to tune around too much because of the time, the time restraints here on the uh, on the camera. But it is a good receiver, and you can probably pick it up for about 10 bucks in uh, just about any uh, discount store uh, uh, that you run into. This. Uh, this grum dig here, the side of it is a little more expensive. Uh, it's uh, it's probably around 30 bucks. I was trying to get something on this a while ago, and I couldn't. It does do a, a pretty good job there at night but I'm not getting too much on it here today. Both of these radios do have vertical antennas on them as you can see there. Uh, and they receive shortwave radio pretty good. I, I like both radios. And this uh, this next one over here is a, uh, a DX392 uh, that Radio Shack uh, made. It's probably about uh, tw around 25 years old I believe or something like that. And it's uh, uh, it's also a, a pretty decent receiver on this one. Welcome to Open Forum. Yes, hello? Yes. Yes, um, I like to look at two, I like to compare two scriptures. Joel 2, verse 30 and 31. And this radio Joel is 2, let's bring you up the best verse. Joel 2, verse 30. Get in and two places, two of them are going to be in for some reason. Uh, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and colors of smoke. Anyhow, let's say, uh, the sun shall be turned into darkness really and the moon into see. blood uh, before the great and horrible day uh, of Jehovah comes. It's one of the better receivers that I have here. It's really quiet. I mean, you don't hear the static on this one that you do uh, on the... Uh, uh, on the uh, the others that have the analog tuners, this here is a phase loop lock uh, shortwave receiver, and it uh, once you get it on the frequency, it is locked. It will not move. It's uh, it's rock solid uh, uh, on the uh, on the frequency, and it uh, it does an excellent job. I uh, I use this one the most uh, here in the uh, here in the radio shack. And this this next one here that uh, that we're looking at here, uh, this one here is a World Star MG500, and this radio also has an awesome receiver on it. Uh, this radio uh, is probably about 35 years old, uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, I bought it uh, at a yard sale. For three bucks, and uh, it uh, it does an awesome job on uh, on the on the sea. It has a slide volume control on it. It's got triple on it, and uh, it's got uh, a noise eliminator, the AFG on it, which. Uh, gives you the, the signal fades a little bit slower when you put that on. It, uh, uh, it doesn't fade quite as rapidly out when you got the uh, the AFC on. And uh, it's a really 
awesome uh, awesome receiver and the one thing that the uh, the DX1 the DX392 has on it that the others don't is the BFO a beat frequency oscillator and this is great if you're listening to shortwave radio and you want to listen to ham radio uh, broadcasts or even some of the shortwave programs that use upper and lower sideband it's a little more expensive if you get the BFO on the uh, on the receiver, but it's well worth the money to get one on it to be able to uh, to tune in uh, the ham bands and some of the shortwave stations that uh, that use it. Uh, it's uh, a little uh, touchy to get used to, but uh, once you get used to it, uh, you won't have no uh, no uh, problem with it. And some uh, uh, you, you may also uh, not want to use the vertical antennas that's on some of these shortwave receivers. I have uh, uh, two of mine, uh, the, the, uh, the DX392 and the Worldstar hooked up to outside antennas. Or you can rig you up an antenna on the inside of the, uh, of the house, uh, uh, fairly simple. You could just... Uh, uh, if you wanted to put something on the inside of the house, if to use something like a slinky antenna, you could put this up on a window rod or just about anything. Uh, put it up uh, on the uh, the window vertical, or you could put it horizontal. Uh, if you put it horizontal, it gives you less noise than vertical. But anyhow, you just uh, clip your uh, alligator clip onto your antenna, and then clip one onto your your slinky here. And then if you do have a, a, a plug on the back of your uh, your radio where you can actually hook an antenna up, then you can get a little bit more elaborate. You can hook a, a you will have two wires then coming out of your radio, and you can hook one, use uh, two slinkies and hook one on each each slinky, and put it up uh, around the uh, around the window. Just drape it over the. Uh, the curtain rod with the curtains, and a lot of times you can you can just about hide it uh, under the curtains uh, and over the curtain rod. It's not noticeable uh, uh, usually unless you point it out to somebody. But anyhow, that's an idea. You could even use some more to do it. You could string you up some more. Or just uh, just about anything is uh, is better than uh, you know than the vertical antenna. They do work uh, pretty good, but you're going to get a lot better signal strength with. Uh, with uh, an auxiliary antenna and uh, like I said this is part two of the uh, of the, uh, the video that I was going to do on YouTube this morning when my batteries uh, uh, went south on me here in the camera uh, and it just went dead uh, I was uh, <laughs> hadn't noticed it for a couple of minutes uh, uh, it went out and then the, uh, the batteries went dead and finally the screen froze up on it and it stopped uh, stopped working all together okay I hope you enjoyed the little tour here and if you're into uh, the shortwave radio uh, maybe this may inspire you to uh, to get into it it's, it's a great hobby and I'm also into amateur radio I'm a ham radio operator KA4PNV and uh, uh, we do enjoy uh, all kinds of hobbies here. We have uh, um, uh, two meter equipment, HF equipment here, and on some of the ham rigs you can receive some of the shortwave bands too on, on them. So, uh, so we pretty much set up here for uh, for communications all the way around, and we do hope you enjoyed the, the little <coughs> tour that we took you around the. Um, the radio room here today and uh, I enjoyed uh, showing you around uh, and uh, I maybe inspire you to get into uh, uh, to shortwave radio you learn quite a bit by listening uh, to uh, to uh, other stations on uh, on shortwave radio and uh, uh, we'll say uh, 73's to you and uh, and good DXI on shortwave radio and uh, we do hope that you uh, you get into the hobby like I said it is a great hobby to get into and uh, thank you very much for uh, 
uh, for watching the clip here. I enjoyed making it. And uh, uh, we'll say uh, goodbye and, uh, and God bless you. Thank you very much.